Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back. It is your boy the way to well, back at it for another video. Today we are in my room because I do have a couple packages I need to open for the G35. So we are gonna do that together. So let me get you guys uh, planted and show you guys what I got. All right, so there they are. We got a box from Alcano and we got a box from Z1. Alright, so you guys saw the unboxing, but here it is. Go in detail with everything that we got. Down here, I have all four of the sway bar end links. Brand new OEM thermostat with the gasket. Front sway bar bushings, rear sway bar bushings, front lower ball joints, lower control arm bushing kit, shock bushing kit, compliance arm bushing kit, and the main thing right here for the welded diff, this is the big big differential bushing that goes in the subframe and then those are the two that go in the diff. So yeah, pretty much a whole suspension refresh is going on today on my G35, getting it ready for the track. So this thing will make my car handle good, perform good, and yeah, that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and get the car in the garage and install these for you guys. All right, update. Um, I got a little bit too carried away yesterday and I did not record anything that I did. So I apologize. Um, because my dad started helping me and we just knocked out everything the only thing i have left now to do is to install my new wheel bearings because i do have new wheel bearings um and then i need to cut the studs on the new wheel bearings because you guys can see i had to cut those to fit that uh, 15 mil wheel spacer um so i'm gonna put it on the vise cut the studs and then throw them on the car i do need new rotors these things are pretty clapped but i could do that later uh i don't really want to spend the money on that right now so i will do that later when i do the uh probably when i do the uh, angle kit and then yeah so let me show you guys everything um so this right here is was that big uh compression arm bushing so there's the polyurethane bushings in there i did delete the bump stop right here and right here so i can get more angle and then here is the brand new polyurethane sway bar bushings up front with brand new sway bar end links there is a lower control arm polyurethane bushing and then there is the strut mount bushing that mounts to the strut. And here we have the brand new ball joint. So yeah, that is pretty much all I have done up here. Next thing I do need to do is do this upper control arm. But I'm going to just change it and get adjustable camber arm so I could uh, mess with the camber up here. And then yeah. Other than that, it's pretty much done up front. I just, like I said, I need to do the wheel bearings and then I could throw on the welded diff. 
I'm still debating if I want to do the welded diff today because it is a pretty hard job to do trying to get that big bushing out from what I've heard it's a really big pain in the butt so we're gonna we're gonna see what I'll do with that right there so yeah uh, that's pretty much all so I'll, I'll be back with another update when I am done installing the wheel bearing all right y'all the car is back on the ground freaking everything's torqued down everything's good so i'm gonna go take it on his first test drive and see how this thing feels it should feel a lot better because everything's fresh and new the thing that i did notice the car sits higher in the front now i i, I drove it back and forth right now and you know took the wheel but the car sits a lot higher it's not bad like it's all right fit me but i i might go back in and lower it a little bit more but i threw the avid wheels on it that's an 18 by 10 plus 22 with the 15 mil spacer so that's like a plus seven or something uh fits pretty good 235 40 18 i might go wider i might do a 245 on this um and yeah it's uh chilling so let's go ahead and uh take a drive and see how it feels all right y'all so first impressions it feels solid hell yeah it doesn't make any weird noises anymore like it's solid the only thing is the alignment's all off you can see my wheel it's it's curved i mean turn to the right a little bit alignment is way off like you know you're but when you're doing suspension work your alignment is gonna be really off let the fire truck go by so i'm gonna have to go get an alignment but yeah i took that turn like nothing Mission mount because that thing just like freaking jerked hella hard right there. But yeah, this car's solid now. So now it's time for me to put the welded diff on and then the bushings for the welded diff. And then I need to do a polyurethane transmission mount. And other than that, the car should be set suspension wise. Um, I do need all like the tow arms, camber arms in the back but i don't think i'm gonna do that right now i'll probably do that in the future um because the way that when you lower these cars you you can't get your toe back out um but the way that the car is towed in when you lower it is actually gonna really help me out in drifting um so i'm just gonna leave it because my last 335 was the same way i had all the stock arms in the back and the toe was like hella in but uh when I would do donuts and stuff with it, like the car was so easily to control. So I think, you know, the tow really puts a factor into it. And, you know, I heard a lot of people recommend that you have a little bit of tow in and drifting. So we'll see how it goes. The car's solid, it feels hella good. So yeah, finally not all over the place. So if you guys have a sloppy G35, which I know all of you guys do, cause no one ever touches those things in these cars. Um, just go ahead man refresh your suspension do your ball joints do your control arm bushing especially on these cars the way that the front end is set up um they all always fail so go ahead and just you know save yourself the hassle and do the upgrade so i'm gonna wait for this train track and then i'll get back on to it <laughs> 